Hi, my name is Crystal, and I've been working at Splunk for about six years. And uh, before coming to Splunk, I did my PhD in computer science at Berkeley. My role is a software engineer, so I work on the AI team. I've always been focused more on like, how can we build the machine learning models, and then how can we integrate that into our product? Enterprise software, it's like satisfying to work on because you're working on something that actually helps someone do their job. You know, Splunk is a tool that is very helpful to our customers. We're working on these AI assistants that makes it a lot easier for them to use Splunk. One of our main focuses for at least this year is AI assistants everywhere. So I'm working on a couple of projects related to building AI assistants to help our customers. One is with our Observability Cloud team. So this is an AI assistant for Ollie. The purpose of this project is to uh, make it easier for customers as they're using our Ollie Cloud product to troubleshoot their systems. They want to know like, hey, why did I get alerted? What's going wrong with my service? Which of my nodes are looking too highly utilized? And they just want to be able to ask these kind of questions and go straight to the answer. They don't want to have to like write queries in domain specific languages or the project we're working on is to use uh, generative AI to help them find those answers and, you know, just make it very easy for them to interact with the product in natural language and then they can go straight to the answers they're looking for. During the time I've been at Splunk, it's kind of felt like maybe four or five different jobs in that time. I always have like plenty of opportunities to learn new things. Um, I've done a mix of roles. I had a stint in management at one point. People don't have to feel like, oh, I have to be siloed into like ML engineer or scientist. Like we have a broad range of problems to work on, you know, so we have plenty of opportunities. 